around here. I can't do this shit right now. Hey guys, welcome back to YouTuber Headlines. My name's Oakley and today we're talking about my jazzy life. Some of you might know who she is. She's a single mom on YouTube raising four kids. She's been posting on YouTube for about two years and she has a little over 46,000 subscribers. I would basically consider her channel a family vlogging channel. She shows her kids in diapers. She exploits her kids and so much more and we're gonna talk about it today. The clip I showed at the beginning of this video was really hard for me to watch. There are so many clips like that on YouTube and these videos are monetized. This should not be online, this is not acceptable and YouTube should not allow the exploitation of children like this on this platform. There's no way in hell those videos should be monetized or allowed on YouTube at all. I'm making it, I'm cooking, I'm actually cooking a crock pot meal. This is why I said go. Here, go. You just gave my stuff. No, I'm making it up here. Go to the room. Bye. I'm cooking them a whole crock pot meal. No, bye. No, you're not getting that. You're not getting the phone. I don't know why you keep checking it. Get out of here. Do you want to spank it? Screaming and yelling at your kids on a video, then posting it on YouTube and monetizing it should not be allowed on this platform at all. Screaming that you're going to spank them is definitely not something that should be shown on YouTube. I do have to say that CPS has been called on her. So they did do an investigation and her kids were not taken from her house. She also shows her kids in diapers and we all know who watches these YouTube videos. It's disgusting and kids should never be shown in diapers on family channels, on any YouTube channel. That crap needs to be cut out too. Uh, you want me to show y'all how to discipline your kids when they get no. to wanting? Yeah, I bet you stop doing that shit now, won't you? <laughs> yeah, now put them fucking shoes on. Try to show out. I'll pop your ass on this camera. Tell the po people call the police on me. I don't give a I don't even know what to say after watching that clip. One of my viewers sent me that clip and it's disgusting and I thought, how can I not make a video about this? How can I not bring attention to this channel, to this crap that's being posted, to the way the kids are being treated? We need to talk about this. It has to change. This should not be posted online. This should not be happening. This makes me sick to my stomach and I, I can't stand it. At first, I just blurred the image, but there's no way. You can still see the kids. And um, can you imagine the ramifications of number one, being treated that way, but number two, having that blasted on YouTube for the world to see. These kids have to live with that for the rest of their lives. They have to number one, live through the abuse, and then number two, it's all over the internet for everybody to see. This is some of the worst family vlogging I've ever seen in my life. I'm not showing any more clips, and I do need to say that those clips are not from this year. And I will not be providing links to those videos. I'm not going to promote those videos in any way, but this stuff still happened. It's still on YouTube, it's still monetized, and it's inappropriate as hell. So recently, the mom came out with a video. She posted it on February 7th, and the title is I Apologize. And she says a lot in this video. She addresses some of these clips. She addresses her actions. She also said that she was depressed, and she got help for depression, and she did apologize. So with that said, I decided to come on here and apologize to everyone that had to see me at my worst points. Given that you are a new subscriber, you probably are confused. You're like, oh my God, she looks like she hates her life. Those were my worst, my weakest points in my life as a single mom, as a 
mom of one, of two, of four. I think it's important to show this side of her too because she said that she has changed and she is making positive changes in her life and I really hope it's true for the sake of her children. I was honestly too transparent with everyone. I showed too much. But the reason for me showing so much because I personally love to watch YouTube. I love to watch people that I can relate to. And I showed y'all a lot of my life. My choice of words wasn't acceptable. I said a few things like, I'm gonna whoop your ass, I'm gonna beat your ass. Out of frustration, out of depression, out of just struggling in general. Little that people know that my kids, those words just don't mean anything to them because as I've stated before you guys, in the past videos, in the past lives, I do not whoop my kids. I hit them where it hurts. I take away their electronics. So she has definitely posted some horrible videos with foul language and abuse, straight up abuse on her channel. And with this apology video, she said she's going to do better. She is doing better. So there's no way I can come on here and share her story without showing that she's trying to change. She said she is changing. I'm making this video because I want those videos removed from YouTube. I don't know if she's ever going to see my video, but if she does, I'm asking you to take those videos down. Remove all of those videos where your children are being treated that way, where you're yelling at your kids, where your kids are screaming in the background, when your kids are running around in diapers. You know the videos. I don't have to sit and name all of them to you. Take them off YouTube. No one should have to grow up and have that part of their childhood online for everybody to see. She knows the comments that she gets every day. She has to live with those comments. She has to read those comments. Think about what her kids are gonna have to go through when they get older. She needs to take the videos off YouTube because number one, they're abusive videos. Number two, you should not be making money off of those videos. Number three, stuff like that should not be on YouTube. Number four, you need to stop exploiting your kids. You need to take your kids off your YouTube channel completely. Make this channel about you. Do not use your kids for content. One viewer said the apology video is bullshit because after she posted that, people dragged her again and she went on live crying and cursing. Her kids in the car, the sun almost fell out of the window. Her exact words that people are effing with her money. Just as she said throughout the video, she doesn't care about those kids and she will keep doing it. This comment is from a viewer who is familiar with her YouTube channel and watches her videos on a regular basis. I've also heard, but I have not been able to confirm that she's lost a lot of sponsors because of this. This is another family vlogger that we need to be aware of and we need to hold this lady accountable for her actions. It doesn't seem like YouTube does. I, I'm, I'm flabbergasted that YouTube allows videos like this on their platform and I'm so shocked that parents are able to monetize these videos that exploit their children so much. So here's what I think we should do. We should stop watching videos that have kids monetized in them. If we stop watching the videos, the videos will stop getting views, they'll stop earning money, and family vloggers will stop making this content because who knows if YouTube is ever gonna put out some guidelines for these family channels to go by just for everybody on YouTube to go by. What's acceptable, what's not acceptable when it comes to posting children online. The more we talk about this, the louder our voices will get and someone will finally listen to us one day. Someone has got to listen to what we're saying and make the changes that need to happen on YouTube. I'm just a little YouTuber with a little voice, but I am committed to doing things behind the scenes to help protect these children on this YouTube channel. This story is not over and I will definitely keep you guys updated. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.